What up y'all, thanks for tuning in to yet another exciting video. In this video, I will be touching base on how to remove the dusts on your film photographs. To some, it may depend on the look that they want to achieve on their film photographs. That being said, some may want to incorporate the dust from the negatives as an aesthetic to the photos or to convey certain type of emotions, but sometimes it can distract the viewer's attention to the main focal point of the image. Hence, removing the dust from the images in post. Before I touch base on how I remove the dust on my photos in post, since I scan my own films, I use these tools when I scan my negatives. I use a pair of nitrile gloves which prevents the dust from my hands as well as fingerprints on the negatives, an air blower which blows the dusts off the negatives as well as to blow air through the film holders in the light pad, and the brush to brush off the dust from the film holders as well as the surface of the light pad. I will be making a video on how I scan my film negatives so stay tuned and make sure to be subscribed on the channel. It's worth mentioning that the pre-scan procedure that I do helps for a faster post-editing workflow simply because some of the negatives will have little to no dust at all, therefore I do not need to do any dust removal in post. Once the photos are converted in Lightroom and I have made all the corrections I need, I export the photos and reopen them on Photoshop where the magic happens. Once the photos are opened in Photoshop, click the spot healing tool or press J on your keyboard. Then on the menu bar, select your brush size accordingly, then select the mode type to normal. And lastly, make sure that the type is content aware. What content aware does is that it automatically removes a selected area and replaces it based on the pixels around that object. This does all the magic. When I am removing the dust on Photoshop, I would normally take my time and adjust my brush size accordingly to avoid removing wanted parts of the image. I am going a little too quick on this one so not to drag the video out and to show quickly how it is done. Beware not to use it too much because the photos may come out looking unnatural and just use it in moderation based on your own judgment. And just like that, your photos are dust free. This method is not only applicable to film photos, this can also be applied to any other photos where you might need to remove unwanted elements that may distract your viewer's attention. But make sure to use it in moderation to avoid weird looking photos. And that's it for this video, I hope you picked something up and until next time, peace.